Kia ora Year 9. This video goes through the foundation algebra booklet that Mrs Corb has made. And so if you're in 9 he, he or 9 Weka with me this year and you're working on foundation skills, you're going to have a copy of that booklet. And this video is to help go through each section of it with you. If you're not in my class, um, you can still hopefully get something from watching the video because it's going to cover a lot of the basic skills that we want Year 9s to learn. So the ones that I'm going to focus on here are definitely writing expressions, um, going from words to algebra, two really important algebraic conventions, one is about the time sign and one is about the divide sign, and then hopefully I'll get up to substitution. Lastly, maybe coefficients. So the video is going to be 15 minutes long and I'll put some timestamps on for where the different things are covered if I can figure out how to do that. All right, so let's have a look at um, the first thing, which is writing expressions going from words to maths. Okay, so what we want to do here is know that when we see these words, what does that mean mathematically? Now, some of these you'll find easy, and some of these you might not have thought about before. And then on the next page, you're going to have time to do your own practice with these. So if we see the word sum, that means to add two things to, together. For example, if, if you're asked, um, find the sum of two and seven, that means work out two plus seven. So sum is associated with the plus sign. If we're talking about less than, for example, two less than eight, that means eight take away two. So less than, is associated with takeaway sign. Double means to multiply by two, right? So double eight means eight twos, so or eight plus eight. So doubling is multiplying something by two. And if I ask you to find a difference, for example, the difference between 10 and 3, that means find 10 take away 3, right? The difference between 10 and 3 is 7. So difference is associated with the take away sign. If I want to find half of a number, that means to split the number equally into two parts, right? So that means 8 divided by 2. So half means divided by 2. Now over here we had doubling, right? so to double something means to multiply it by 2 and to half, some, half of something is to divide by 2. We call these two things inverse operations. You'll hear me talking about that lots later on in a couple of weeks. Okay, times, when we see the word times, that means the time sign. More than means adding, so 2 more than 7, again it means 2 plus 7. And the word product is one that some of you will have known for quite a while, but some of you might not have seen that word. That word just means multiplication or times. Okay, so now it's your turn to practice, and we're going to practice them with algebra. Okay, so to find the sum of x and y, for example, it will be x plus y. I want you to pause the video here and try and answer those eight questions into your workbook. If you've done that already, Now's your time to keep watching and mark that work. Okay, double A means 2 times A. But we're going to learn very soon that we don't write that time sign in algebra. So double A means 2 times A. But a better way to write that is 2A. But, you know, since we haven't taught you that convention yet, um, for now, it's okay to write it like that. Later on, we will very much want you to be writing it as 2A. 5 less than x, right, so less than means take away, so this is x take away 5. 7 times the number m means 7 times m, and we can write that as 7m. Again, at this stage, when we haven't really talked about this convention of not having a time sign, it's fine to write it like this. Later on, we'll want you not writing the time sign. 3 times the number x means 3 times x. 
Now, one thing that you're probably noticing that's a little bit weird is that I'm writing this time sign with two straight lines, okay? Let's do that not with the funky rainbow colored pen. There we are. So times is like an X, right? This one here is like a curly X. And this is what we always do when we're writing X's for algebra. Now, no one's really going to care if you don't do this, but you might as well see how we do it. So the first way I write the X is I do a backwards letter C, and then I do a forwards letter C. And when you put them together, they look like the X that you'll see in our worksheets and textbooks. Okay. So yeah, so getting back to where I was. So number five, three times the number X is equal to three times X, which we can write more nicely as just three X. Two more than Y, right? Y mean, uh, more than means plus. So this is going to be Y plus two, or obviously it doesn't matter the order we do addition in. So two plus Y is fine as well. The product of M and N. Well, that means M times n product means times and we can write that in a better way is just m n lastly divide x by y so x divided by y and you'll see on when i get to the next topic that we're not going to use the divide sign we're going to write that with a fraction sign but for now that's okay but this is better just one more thing i want to comment on is that in here you'll see that i wrote seven times the number m I wrote 7m, right? I did not write m7. So this is a convention that we haven't done a worksheet on for you, but we really, really want to see this number coming before the variable m, right? So m7, once you've started doing algebra, will just look really funny and wrong, okay? When we write 7m, we know that that means 7 times the number m. So going over that again, in here, We've got 2 times a, and we write the 2 first, right? 3 times x, we write the 3 first. Okay, that's all for that one. Now, quickly going over again, these algebraic conventions, right? The first one we've got is that we don't write the time sign, okay? So um, 8 times m means 8m, right? I want you to pause the video and have a go at these, remembering that we can do number multiplication together so that this first one, for example, is 2 times 3 times n, which is 6 times n, and we're going to write that as 6n. Okay, so off you go. Pause the video and have a go at these. All right, n times n. Well, n times n means n squared. Right, so just how we did it in number, we, when we had 3 times 3, we learned this year that 3 times 3 was 3 squared. Well, n times n is going to equal n squared. 8 times m is going to equal 8m. 8 times m times n. So we don't have the time signs. And we just write 8mn. In this next one, we've got 2 times a times b times c. So this is going to be 2 a b c. Right, let's look at this last one. We've got A times B times 3. So I'm first I'm going to write this one wrong. If we take out the time signs, we get AB3. Okay. But remember, I said we never want to write the number at the end. So we don't write that. We write equals 3AB. And we call this number here the coefficient. I'll talk about that more later, either in this video or the next one. So that's my first big algebraic convention, no time sign. Okay, so no time sign. Right, next one. We also don't use a divide sign. So if we've got 2 divided by a number k, we write that as a fraction. So you'll see lots of fraction signs when we do more algebra. Right, 2 divided by k. It's just like when we've got 1 divided by 4, we know from the work we did earlier this year that one whole divided by four is equal to one quarter. So when we're doing algebra, no divide sign, we use a fraction sign instead. Okay, so these ones I'm going to do, and then there's a set for you to do. Right, in this one here, we've got six times three times k. Six threes are 18, 
18 times k, we write as 18k. Number two, in, a number in, divided by 3, we write as n over 3. Now, this next one has got a tiny bit of our bed mass rule in it. We've got a plus, and then we've got a times. So what we do first is we do the timesing part first. So this one here will give me x plus 3y. And in number four, we need to get rid of the times signs. So instead of x times y times z, we have x, y, z, no time sign. Number five, k divided by 12 is equal to k over 12, right? We write it as a fraction. The next one, 2x divided by 5, we write 2x in the numerator, remember that's the top line of the fraction, divided by 5 in the denominator, the bottom line of the fraction. Okay, your turn to practice. Oh, no, actually this is different. Sorry, we haven't put any extra practice ones into this video because we think it's probably going to get a bit long anyway. In this next one, we want you to show what it all means, putting back in the times and the divide signs. Now, we're doing that to check your understanding that 3m really means 3 times m. Okay, so we're going to go backwards and we're going to put in the times and the divide signs to check that you get the meaning. So have a go at that now. You might want to look back at this one here and see now how did we go from here back to here. Okay, so here we go. Pause and work through those and then check that you've got them right. So 3n means 3 times n take away 1. 2x means 2 times x. In here, the a squared means a times a. So we've got 6 times a times a. In the next one, x, y, z means x times y times z. 7yb means 7 times y times b. Now here comes one with multiplication and division. So 2x over 5 is 2 times x divided by 5. And number 8, k over x means k divided by x. Okay, um, now I've got another two minutes left, and I haven't done substitution yet. So I'm just going to start the skill off now, and then I'll come back to it in the next video. So the idea of substitution is that sometimes we're going to give values particular um, numbers. Right? So here, what we're saying is A has the value of 5, B has the value of 2, and C has the value of 6. So then if I'm asked to work out what 8A is, I'm going to take the A and I'm going to replace it with 5. So it's like when you're playing sport and you sub someone off. It's exactly the same idea, right? So the old person comes out of the team and the new person comes in. So instead of having that A, we now have 5. And this is where we need to go back to what 8a means. So 8a means 8 times a, right? And now the a comes off and the 5 comes on. Right, so the first one, a plus b plus c. We write down 5 instead of a, 2 instead of b, and 6 instead of c. So we've replaced or subbed all of those numbers, right? So a has, is now 5, b is 2. C is 6, and we add them up. So 5 plus 2 plus 6 gives me 7 plus 6, which is 13. Right, and number 2, we've got 12B. The first thing we do is we write out what that means. Well, it means 12 times B. And B is 2, so it's 12 times 2, which is 24. Okay, AB means A times B. 